Do I have a fan out there? No. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's, it's such a huge pleasure to be here. I'm Lisa Salazar uh, with Mayor Garcetti's office. Um, I actually work on workforce development and education policy for the mayor. Um, and I want to thank the uh, organizers of the Start at 500. So thank you for having us here today, or having me here today. I want to just start off by saying that I love LA. And I don't, I don't mean LA the city, I mean the region. I mean everything from the high desert down to the ocean to the Orange County border. Because this is the place to be. Los Angeles has experienced a huge growth in the technology ecosystem. And it's so, so exciting. Earlier today, I was out in downtown LA at the Women's March. And I, I'm going to just share with you for a moment. When I got off the train at 7th and Figueroa to the faces of like 100,000 plus men and women and the energy in the air and the diversity of culture and thought and beliefs, it was amazing. And walking in those doors tonight and feeling all of that same energy and seeing the diversity of culture and belief and thought. It was just so exciting. So I just have, you know, I just say, I love LA. Um, thank you. So what a better way to end an amazing day uh, than to be here with all of you today. Um, I want to say that if the mayor were here, he would thank you. He would congratulate you for all the work that you're doing. Um, but who'd also want to make sure that you're aware of the different supports that the city of Los Angeles has to offer. Um, couldn't have been a better tee up than to come on after Jarvis, uh, because workforce development is, is really my heart and soul. And so when we talk about uh, identifying a pipeline of diverse folks, um, and not just the cosmetic diversity, but those, those that are underrepresented, especially in the field of technology, we have uh, 30 centers across the city that provide job training for young people and for adults. We did a, a, an amazing program this past summer with 20 young adults between the ages of 20 and 24 with Me Too, and they learned uh, digital media. Yeah, it was great. It was great. There are a lot of very talented uh, young people and adults who live in the city of Los Angeles that represent those diverse communities. Um, so please use us as uh, your access point to that. Um, Jarvis mentioned the Bixel Exchange, which is run out of the Chamber of Los Angeles. They are our technology intermediary. So they are there as a resource to you to tap into the services that we have in the city of Los Angeles. So please take advantage of that. I also want to make sure that you're aware of the uh, LA Business Portal. So if you go to the City of Los Angeles website, to the Mayor's website, you'll see the Los Angeles Business Portal. And what we have there is a, a startup package that helps uh, entrepreneurs uh, develop a business plan. Uh, there's information uh, about marketing, about taxes. If you're doing business in the city, how to file permits, how to um, gain uh, licenses that are, are necessary for doing business in the city. Um, so those resources are there for you as well. And the last thing I'll say, uh, because I know I'm the only thing that's standing between cocktails and dinner, um, is that uh, coming up on this Thursday at the LA Reef in downtown LA, the mayor is hosting a technology uh, resource fair where they'll have over 200 companies, they'll have workshops all day, they'll have speakers, and it's free. Um, and so um, you all as community partners, it would be great if you could help us get the word out uh, to folks who want to get into this industry. Again, go to the, uh, to the mayor's website, just Google City of LA, Mayor Garcetti, and it'll take you to the registration site for uh, the LA Technology Fair. So um, with that, again, congratulations and thank you. Thank you for having me here tonight, and um, just keep doing what you're doing. Thank you.